Hello guys, it is Halo4Follower and we have big news spanning from the achievements, images, theater mode being confirmed, a new special edition, concept art of a new map, patch details, soundtrack samples, and much more. Now before we get into the news, I would like to get my Minecraft friend Francis Craft a shout out as he deserves it with this wide and open world. The link for him is below along with the sources. To start off with the concept art of a DLC or default map after appearing on Examiner, there's a few things to be noticed as the map looks very abstract, and according to Waypoint's bulletin, at Pat's will be showing off a new map, so perhaps this is, you know, what will be showing at that time from August 31st to September 2nd. Moving on to a couple images of the Halo 4 Limited Xbox Edition. Now, when buying the edition, we get exclusive in-game armor called Photos, which appears quite a lot like Hayabusa from Halo 3, along with two avatar figures, one being a costume representing Photos and a crawler prop. We also see an emblem called Unicorn in an in-game Forerunner Light Rifle called imprint. The next image has armor called the recruit and a skin called prime. The avatar is representing the armor with an avatar prop of a cryo tube. Lastly, we see a weapon skin called prime and an emblem aside. So moving on to the achievements for Halo 4, there's a lot that Waypoint has showed us, so let's get to it. The achievements have names to them, which for the first few could hint the mission names themselves for the campaign. So if you don't want any spoilers or any of that stuff, I would go ahead and skip to the next section of this video. <laughs> same place we are. According to what we have here, there are 8 missions to Halo 4. Completing any difficulty will get you 10 points, completing everything on normal will give you 20, Heroic is 40, Legendary is 70, and Legendary on Solo is 90. Get 10 points for finding any terminal in Halo 4, find them all for 50, find cheese records and access them in Mission 1 for 20, get significant airtime in the Warthog at midnight on Mission 2 for 20, carry a Unity weapon all the way through Heroic or Harder on Mission 3 for 20, make it through Mission 4 without one preventable Marine death on Heroic or Harder for 20. Race will be in Halo 4 as well. Hijack 1 and use it to kill 4 enemy race on Heroic or Harder on Mission 5 for 20. Trick a Hunter to False Demise in Mission 6 for 20. In Mission 7 on Solo, take out both Hunters using 1 Sticky for 20. In Mission 8, kill 3 Crawlers and 1 Hit using the Gravity Hammer for 20. I guess the Gravity Hammer also makes a return in Halo 4. With an achievement called I Heart Red vs Blue, win 4 games of matchmaking or try 20 games of matchmaking for 30 points. Try a Spartan Ops mission for 15 or complete all chapters in Episode 1 of Spartan Ops on Legendary for 40. Try a whole chapter on Solo with Legendary for 20. Search around for RVB, Easter Egg, and Spartan Ops for 20. Save a Marine in Chapter 3 of Episode 2 on Heroic or Harder for 20. And skipping a few down to the bottom, lastly we get 5 points to either save a clip in the finally confirmed theater mode, take a screenshot or upload a file to your file share, make a custom game type or forge map. Service tags, Spartan posing, emblem, or changing your armor can all get you 5 points. So moving on later on to the waypoint bulletin, we discover that there is a new Halo 4 Special Edition 2 bot set. The set includes the original soundtrack, 14 track remix album, and exclusive making of Halo 4 music, 70 minutes of behind scenes footage, interviews and recording sessions, a hard book of Halo 4 music, composer sign art print, a picture disc of the Chief and a Cortana in a uniquely designed sleep bag, and an Avatar t-shirt download. The first 5,000 orders will individually be numbered in a limited series and personalized by the composer himself. Waypoint also made some of the songs of the original soundtrack and the remit soundtrack available to hear on the bulletin. They gave us an official list of the Halo 4 soundtrack, naming from the Awakening, Belly of the Beast, the names go on from Nemesis, Haven, to Galaxy, and Arrival. Very interesting names. The names though bring up some very odd thoughts within my head, such as the main menu containing a Halo. Perhaps the chief, you know, leaves Requiem in the last third of the story, finding himself upon a Halo to finish off maybe the final foe, the main enemy, you know, maybe leaving a cliffhanger for Halo 5. Waypoint went on and stated that Pat's Prime is only eight days away. They're apparently getting ready for any new videos, wink wink, a new map, perhaps this one will be actually the one shown in the video, and an already announced game type will also be shown, will maybe or may not be making an appearance at Prime, probably will, if they, you know, mentioned it, it's probably going to be there. So somewhere else on Examiner, it was said that Microsoft announced details on the Season pass like option for Halo 4. Call Board Games Map Pass for $25, saving yourself 15% if you were to buy the map packs when available, and receiving bonuses such as the Spartan Force Scanner and Strider Helmets. But while we're on the topic, it was said no DLC schedule is ready yet. Alright, guys, well, that is it. So, here is a community question What is your favorite thing about Halo 4 so far, such as the Forge mode, fast gameplay, the new weapons, or maps? Any of that good stuff? Leave your response down in the comment section below. So, be sure to subscribe for more Halo 4 news from this channel. Thumbs up this video too if you found it enjoyable. Drop me a question if you have one down in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you when I can. Thank you for watching and Chris is signing out.